Hi, I'm Connie with Mobile Paspa and this is Cashmere. And it's springtime, so you may be planning or already planting your flower garden or your vegetable garden, but don't forget about your cats. They love to have something fresh to nibble on. So you should think about making them their own garden. And if they have their own plants to chew on, they might just leave your other plants alone that they're not supposed to be chewing on. It's very simple and we're gonna show you how. So starting with the planter, you want to use something that's lower so it's easy for them to access and then also a little bit bigger. If you put it in a small pot, it's just too easy for them to knock over. Now I like this particular one because it's self-watering. So I just add water in the corner here and I actually don't have to add water for about two weeks and I love that. And then the next thing, you want to use potting soil that has some nourishment in it. It just makes the plants grow better and healthier. And then probably the most important thing, you want to have rocks to put on top. Now, I don't know of too many cats that can resist fresh dirt to dig in. So it's very important to have those rocks on top so they can't get to the dirt. And you especially don't want them thinking it's a new litter box for them. Now, I have put catnip plants in here because I know my cats love catnip. But there's some other options too. You can use cat grass and asparagus fern, bamboo, sweet basil, and dill are all other types of plants that cats can safely nibble on. And if this is the first time you're doing something like this, you might even want to try two or three different types of plants and that way you can determine which are your cat's favorites. And everything I got here was under $20 at my local greenhouse. But I have also put some online links where you can purchase some similar products if that's easier. So it's not only quick, but it's also very affordable and your kitty will love you. And I thank you so much for watching today. I always welcome any comments or suggestions you have and invite you to subscribe to my YouTube channel.